All right. I cut my piece of plastic into a disc. This is what it's going to look like with the three cameras. Right now I only have two cameras. I'm going to have to pick up the third one when I get the right deal on it. So what I did was put a tape around it, got the circumference, divided it by three, put a mark every nine inches, and um, that gave me the spacing I need. It also gave me the center point. I went in between the nine inches at four and a half and came across at the nine inch point and that gave me the center because I'm going to have to put an eye bolt there to hook the clevis up for pulling it up and down. But that's basically it. We'll start with two cameras. Uh, we'll start off with two cameras and uh, these will be glued down. They got adhesive backing so they'll be glued on there. I might even put a little safety string from there to the center shackle in case one comes loose I don't lose it. But um, that's it uh, for now. Okay so I got this drilled out. I got three screws in there. These are the legs that the it's going to be like a tripod. The camera's going to be sitting on this when it drops to the bottom. These will stand on the bottom. So I need some elastic stop nuts for these three bolts and that'll be done. Alright, so I got our tripod this is basically how it's going to sit on the bottom of the ocean. Now I'm going to fasten these waterproof housings on here. I'm going to end up with two of them for now. And let's get them on there. Alright, so I got these stuck down. It's a 3M sticky pad and they shouldn't go anywhere and the cameras are in there it's one there and one there eventually I want to stick another one over here so I have full coverage 360 degree coverage but I have to find it for the right price this is going to be the lifting tab to lift it up and I'm going to put a weight underneath the weight's going to hang down so it stays anchored down and these are the watertight housings that close up to keep the cameras from getting wet. Now these cameras, I mounted them on the side because that's how I got the housings mounted. And there's an adjustment here so you could move the lens so you're straight up and down here with the filming. Okay. Okay, here's the finished product. And what I did was I hung this weight. I'm going to use a downrigger weight because it's already on the boat. And that's going to stabilize this platform here. It'll drop down. These things will stick in the sand. And, and this will keep it in place. And I'm going to hang it by this hook here. And then, like I said, I have two cameras right now on the tripod. I want to get one more pointing off the back. So I have 360 degree coverage. And I'm going to try to get out, I think, Monday. It's going to lay down. They're talking one to two foot, so I'm going to try maybe for Monday. So maybe I'll give this thing a try. Okay. Thanks for watching.